is going on everybody vex30 here coming in with a new rank game today today we have two different videos we have this first game which is uh furia on jag and then we have the second one which is ying on jag both these games were kind of uh frag heavy high octane support gameplay so i decided to put them both in the one video it i didn't see a really really a reason to make two videos unless you know i just wanted to make sure i had content for tomorrow but if i made each one of these like an individual video it wouldn't have been like the best video so we're just going to do a longer video today with two different games on jaguar falls but today we are playing on this first game furia let's see the draft we have so far we first picked yeah we first picked the ash and then they went tyra saris and then leanne furia Khan, Cassie, Barrick, whoever, whatever this person is going to play, and then they still have one more pick left to go. The bands are pretty standard with Torvald, Willow, and McCoy and Atlas all banned. Willow, Willow is like a staple ban right now in the ranked meta, and so is Torvald. Uh, McCoy and Atlas are also just, you have to ban them every time. They're just extremely, extremely strong tanks, and they have to be... They have to be banned because they are so powerful right now. Uh, Makoa, it's very hard to nerf him into a place where he won't be banned every game uh, and make sure he still is playable. So that's why he's been like f uh, just an insta ban forever. Atlas just does way too much. He, it's so, so, he does so much, his kit. That's why he's usually banned. But what did they end up going with? They went the Inara, we went the Talus. Talus is fairly interesting here, but I haven't yet. Let's point out our team. We have th they, thy, thy, the. He has it on his Twitter, but I never remember it. Payin, the Throner, and more. I don't know who Morix. I recognize the name Morix D. But we have a stack team, three check marks on the team. And I don't think I really recognize anybody from the enemy team. We'll see, we'll see. And hack, I recognize hack. Bush founded 7 Eleven, that's a good one. Unreal shots. Like, these are some of the more known ranked players. I am the but protector of the innocent. Our team is kind of stacked I'm right now. So let's uh let's see how this game goes. I'm, i I think you already know, but let's we'll see, alright? We'll see. Alright, we're gonna go our standard cherish, standard build. That build went really fast, sorry, but you can pause if you need to. Um let's see. We gotta be careful of the tire marks this game. Entire marks are going to be annoying. We just have to know when we're marked and be careful what we do. Uh, Saris will make it fairly interesting because the high healing per second that they have. Um, Ash does chip damage. Barrack does chip damage. Lan can burst. Talus can somewhat burst. So they're going to have good sustain for our team against our team. But it's Saris. Fury is going to bring a, bring a lot more utility to the team. And we'll see how this goes. So let's see where we start off here. Also, I love this mount, the Sacred Mount. I bought it. Probably shouldn't have, but I did. It's amazing. I love it so much. I usually support in this map. You start here in the middle. You want to spam their tank. That's why I'm spamming this, just in case they come around the corner. I mean, he's not. So I just put pockets on Barrack over and over. I can't really help Ash. You know, give him some tick healing. Start building up my passive, and boom, there's my passive full. <laughs> Shoot the Inara. We start to want to push here. We know we're in dark, so we're going to go... We know they're in the dark side, so we go to fire. Uh, we dash to point to get there since it seems safe. My right, teammates there. Rotate over to point here. Kind of just watching out to see where they're at. I know most of them are on the uh, Jaguar side, but we're just being careful. We throw a stun over there. Just uh, It's a pretty good angle. Uh, if they're holding that close angle, that stun's going to hit them and your team frags. So random beams like that are very good to just throw when you have the cooldown. When you have an idea where they're at, uh, I see both their tanks incoming and I just dip. Khan decides to push this corner. I pre pre stun that. Mess up Khan, make Khan one shot, and he is forced totally out, and we have space now. So one good beam and some damage can make such a big difference. Barrack slow, let him get out of caught so we get a full heal on him. Now we're just chilling on main again. Really nothing more to do here. Forced out Saris. Saris took a lot of damage there. She almost died. Top off Talus. Top off our team in the back. Now we're going to rotate around. We see our ultimate's at 85, so we're going to try to build that. Oh, so close to the stun on Khan. The angle just wasn't there. I knew it would happen. We see Barrack slow going for the touch. We're just going to dash to him, make sure he can get that. We're going to ult this, make sure we secure this. We just lost somebody, so we still have a chance. Um, if I didn't drop there, I don't... If I didn't drop, and I stayed up on the bridge, and then I threw the stun on the bridge... Like, if I was on top of the bridge, and then I threw the stun... I think there's a good chance... Uh, there's a good chance I frag out there. But, we didn't. We got one kill, but we couldn't get more. So we lost the point fight. And, uh, yeah, the check marks are going down so far. What's happening? I, I couldn't tell you. 
I was just spamming random angles to try to get dismounts, you know, just find free damage. I thought Kong was going to push up there, so I uh, pre-stun, or stun where I think he's going to go, but he backs up, which is fine. Cassie's low, really good damage here by our team. Nara's kind of staggering himself, which is good. Uh, I do want to talk about something real quick, though. Uh, we have morale boost. Uh, I think morale boost should always be the start on Furia. And you're kind of just like ripping alts as you get them. Because Furia alts really easy to charge. Because you have such high damage. And with supports, damage equals alt charge. It's the best alt charge in the game for supports. Healing does not do that much alt charge. So, like higher damage champions like Furia and now like Ying because they're fall off damage. They're able to, uh, they're able to really frag, and that's why I start morale boost, because their ultimates are OP as well. Like, Furia ult is an uncounterable 30% movement speed and damage amp for basically global. And it's not global, but it's basically global for 8 seconds. The ultimate's insane. Um, I think it needs some tuning, personally, but I guess we'll see uh, in the next upcoming patches, because she hasn't been changed next patch, so, which is coming out this week. So, that'll be cool. This week as in, yeah, next week. Alright, we know both tanks are pushing on the right. We're just kind of holding here on the box, trying to find some spam damage. Not really much going on right now. We're just zoning them in their spawn. They can't, they they just can't get out. Uh, <laughs> we throw the stun here, just try to find the con, and boom, we do. And he's dead. Uh, again, stuns are all about prediction, and I just like, ooh, con's in there. There's no way he's going to move out. He has shield up. Con is one of the easier ones, as well as Nando, to stun. Uh, because whenever they have their shield ups, they move so slow, and it's very easy to protect them and uh, knock them out of their shield. And goodbye to Payan, got knocked off the map, RIP, never forget. One important thing with Fury Heals too, is some, like, you can tell also, another beam frags Fury, or frags Tyre, that's, gosh, beam is so good. It is so undervalued by, uh, like, by the mid-tier Paladins, because they always run Solar Blessing. But it, you can't get this beam with Solar Blessing. You can't find those stuff. It's so good. Um, sorry, where was I at? Don't actually remember. So we're moving on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord. I am rambling in this video, aren't I? Yep, I sure am. Sorry, guys. It's okay, Talos. You're pl Listen, you're playing Talos, buddy. There's really nothing you can do. Um, yeah, let's see. So for this point fight, I'm really, like, honestly not sure what happened last point to cause us to lose it was a pretty good point fight it seemed like we were winning it from like start to end but right at the end we just ended up giving it away i'm i'm not sure because uh like we could have made a better play or like maybe we didn't force that play that we did uh there was a couple things we could have done differently maybe we win it at the end maybe it was my fault we lost i'm not sure but on to the next point fight we have ultimate here we have four ultis uh i don't remember which alts i don't think they really used any alts maybe i heard a tyro we know they're on the right side. We're going to quickly, I think, go up the stun. We're going to look for an ulti here for a second. We just know we're we're not really engaging. Ooh, that's rough. We go ahead and ult out of that. Wasn't really my best decision. Uh, we died from... That was a really, really good Sarasult. And we died to that. So it was 100% not worth it. The bad ultimate, to be honest. Shouldn't have been done. You can see me shake my head there. I knew it was bad. Yes. Now we're kind of just chilling, hoping we don't get fragged. We got to be careful for that Cassie disengage since we don't have our dash up. We see Tyra. Really know where we can go here. The Molly completely zones us off that area. Now we have to push into the open. Really good Molly by Tyra there. Made my life so difficult here. Tyra ended up falling back through main, so we're okay. We see that Saris is low. We're going to rotate into uh, dark to make sure we're safe. Sometimes the support, I mean, that's all that matters, is making sure you're safe and let your team carry. I know as Furia sometimes, like, especially in these videos, I just try to frag out. But some of the times the best play, like, the first point fight, the best play probably was just the ulti, spam some damage, and rely on my teammates. But I tried to make a play, didn't work, now my team doesn't have healing. Uh, it's a very fine line when it comes to uh, finding plays and aggression as support. Yes. Thanks. Stay blessed. Sorry. Get a quick top off of there on Barrett. Okay. Oh, I, what I was saying earlier. Um, one thing that's very... Jeez. One thing that's very, very important when it comes to Furia heals is if you can let somebody get out of combat, do it. Um, if they can't get out of combat, you just try to pocket them through whatever they're going through. Um, and you'll slowly with time understand what I'm talking about and pick up on it. Uh, like there, Barrett was behind shield. I could have waited and then I could have healed him out of combat, but I didn't. And I rushed it. 
So that's like something that even the best Furious have troubles with. It's just in the moment kind of thing. But the more you improve on it, it, it'll, it helps your team so much more. Just because Fury heals are on the lower end of support healing, that when you can get that, when you can get your teammates out of caught and then the burst deal, it's so much better. They're kind of struggling here to touch point. Let's throw that beam. We know exactly where Khan's going to be. We hit that beam on him. Get the stun. It was free kill. We're watching out for the Cassie. So we're just kind of hiding behind the boxes, waiting. Team carries. Ash dies, but ends up pushing the payload still because they had no one to touch. Uh, Bear got on the right side. Easy point. Yes. We have Morale and Kronos 2 now, which is huge, and we're going to go ahead and get Resilience for the Ceres, Khan, the Cassie Disengage, and the Inara ulti. Even though they just use Inara ulti, it's still going to be good to have against the other ones. Either, if you're not going to go Resi here, I would go Haven. Either or would have been fine. Thinking back at it, I think Haven actually would have been better, since I knew Inara just used ult, right? So they don't have too much major CC. Uh, Sarasalt, it really, Resi only slightly helps. Khan ult, it helps him not throw you as far, but as a support, typically, Khan just kills you. Um, Talos is gonna do the pre-alt here, let's see how it works, and it, eh, at least he dismounted people. I assume that's really what he accomplished, what he was going for, so it's alright. But now we're at a 4v5, uh, they're late to the fight, they're coming in now, so we got a free 20-something percent, not too bad. We know their right side. We see... Oh, Ash just frags there. Wow. Um, I think I should have got a heal on her before we ulted, but it ended up working. She got her ult down, which is which is very important. And this this game's over. This game's absolutely over. Amazing ult by Ash. They all just try to group up in that one area. Ash hits her ult button. I hit my ult button. And there's absolutely no way to lose. Easy as that. Ash ult for your ult. Some of the best ults in the game. What a riot. I assume this here will be her ulti, because it was so good. I think it stunned Khan and stunned somebody else. Let's see. No, this is the first point fight. I think she had a flank. Really good. Oh, that dash. Oh, that dash was beautiful. Nice. That was a huge play. On Ash, like, one thing you can do is just like uh, Thay did there, is like, dash against the wall and make you... It makes you just... Right on the other side of the wall rather than straight forward. You're kind of like left more left of where you think you're gonna be So it's it's just a trick try it out on ash on the shooting range, but That is it for this first game. I'm gonna throw it over to me in the second game What I'll see is you going on everybody? Welcome to game two of this two game ranked video This time as you can see we're gonna play ying you don't see it here, but I told you already it's in the thumbnail, it's kind of everywhere, so we are playing Ying in this game. We are playing here with a raise, but it's not really a raise, it's actually... Who was it? Was it Fish? Yeah, it was Fish. When we were playing, when we were at Atlanta, we were playing, and I accidentally queued with a raise in my party, so Fish is playing the Makoa, but this has a raise. There's the Ying pick. Um, but we have Makoa. That's always a fun one, because getting letting Makoa through is always nice for the first pick team. You can Or letting Atlas through as well, if the second pick people let it through, because they banned Willow and Bomb King. Uh, having a teammate also that knows how to play either Atlas or Makoa, because they're the two really OP tanks right now. They're banned in like 90% 90 of competitive games. But I'll take it, you know. Right now they have Io, Sha, Grok, Khan. That's a pretty interesting composition. The Grok will get some more value since we have Ying and Barrack. So it's not a bad pick. Not the best pick, because it's Grok, but not a bad one. We go ahead and grab the Cassie, Tyra, and the Barrack. Not too bad picks. Tyra is going to be good at marking. This is pre Pirates Treasure patch, so that means Tyra is still good with Hunter's Mark. Uh, both these games are pre Pirate Treasure patch. Uh, the first game I recorded before the patch too, uh, voice wise, because I'm doing a voiceover for this game. Uh, I am backlogged. I have a lot of content that I need to turn into videos, and I have just been lazy the past week. Uh, I needed a couple days off uh, since PPL, and I just got home, so I needed a couple days off, kind of to myself, kind of relax. Haven't posted a video for a week, but we are back at it today. Let's see what their last pick is. I'm kind of stalling, but there it is. It is the Ash and the Khan. This is gonna be a pretty good one. Both compositions are good. Uh, this is pre, again, pre-buffed IO, so it's not as good for their team, but they do have the Grok supplement some healing, and the Grok will have decent damage just because we have Ying and Barrack. But yeah, back to the videos. Um, I said yesterday we were going to start regular videos, but I lied. I got really busy yesterday. Uh, I was just hanging out with somebody. 
I was just having a fun day, kind of good day off, but now we are back to the grind today and this week we need to get more videos out. I know you have been craving the Vex 30 content, but I kind of, you know, kind of need some time to myself. Like I always say, uh, PPL comes first and when it comes to health and mental health, that's always first priority for me. So sometimes I can't fully get videos out every day and I'm really sorry for that, but I hope everybody understands. Uh, now that I'm at home though, it should be a little bit easier. We have a couple, we have a, we have a whole month off from PPL. We have a couple weeks off scrims. We're gonna kind of take it easy. We're still playing the game, of course, but we're just gonna take it easy and enjoy, enjoy our time. Um, I just noticed this video is cropped. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or not, but we're gonna still do the voiceover for it. I don't know why, but somebody pointed out in one of my other videos that this happened. I think there was something to do with Streamlabs OBS at, uh, at the center, land center I was in, that caused this. But I don't actually know. Maybe because it was 1610, it looks like the left side is there, but the right side isn't. But, or the right side's there, the left side isn't. Kind of weird, but I'm still going to do voiceover. I'll still probably turn in the video because you still right, get let's to do this, guys. You still get to see the gameplay. Uh, it's not bad. As you can see, people are using in game voice. I usually disable that just in case the occasional troll shows up. But. Yeah, we're gonna keep this. Sorry for the crop. That won't happen again, or it shouldn't happen again, so sorry. But let's move into the game. So Ray's flanking. We're here sitting in dark. Kind of need to get big heals on the team. Constantly keep the healing up because they do have Grok. Uh, but with the Grok means we farm a lot of ult charge as well. So we're gonna set both illusions around the corner so Grok can get free bounces, which is always smart to do with your illusions against the Grok. Don't put them in the open. We have double clones set up here. Team needs to come back for healing. Uh, they see I'm set up in here, so they should come back to me. I can't really push out, and if I put a clone in the open, like, I gotta put this clone kind of hidden. It's kind of tough against Grok. Um, very tough to play game against Grok and not have your team farmed off of free bounces. So that was a tough first point. The team kind of left the area. Uh, that was kind of tough because we were set up in the dark room, but everybody kind of ran away. So... It happens. That stuff will happen when you're playing Ying, especially in a situation like this. I go ahead and grab Bulldozer. I'm like, I'm done. I'm done with Io's dog. We are going to focus that. We're going to focus the totem when we see it. Now we see a raise on the right side. We're going to give him quick little heals. Kind of put out some damage. We're trying to farm a lot of ult charge here. So we're just spamming as much as we can. We kind of aren't min max or cooldowns. We had a uh, clone cooldown up for a little bit that we didn't use. I give the attack call and I pop the ulti. It's kind of like a go button. It's like, hey team, go forward. I'm ulting, you have giant healing, just hold W on them. We uh, weren't able to finish IO immediately, the casting finishes are off, and the Shah's dead, so that means we win this first part of the defense. We're stalling for a while, which is good. What I could have done uh, with that clone there was finish the Ash. That would have been a way better play. Or not finish the Ash, sorry, but block the Ash dash. That would have been a really good play on my part. I actually do that sometimes, I forget about it uh, from time to time. Nice hook. That was amazing. I think that's fish. Again, it's not a raise, but it's gonna keep saying a raise because that's the name. And accidentally rolls in. He, <laughs> it's funny, <laughs> when that happened, he actually looked at me and says, I hate these key bindings. He's playing on a raise computer with his key bindings. And he actually dashed in. That's so funny. We're gonna get a clone set up here. I kind of wanted to put it back further, but I kind of misplaced it. So, yeah, we get a clone set up in the back, get our DPS topped off. Again, the Grok bounces. One good thing for Ying that farms a lot of healing and that farms a lot of ult charge. Even though it's you're farming, you're giving him a lot of damage. You're still getting a lot in return. So, you know, it's a trade-off. Grok, we see Shaz low. I didn't think we could finish it, so what we do is focus the dog. We should have gave Cassie the right click there instead of Makoa. I think that's a teammate bias on my part. Lol, that happens from time to time. You don't want your teammates mad at you, so you always try to heal them. I ripped the roll into the wall. It worked out though. Again, clone set up around the corner. This one clone right in front of me here isn't very good because Grok can free bounce off of it. What I really need to do is, there you go, set it back just a little bit. It's Again, it's still not hidden though, so it's not a good placement. I could have placed it more to the right um, so he didn't have the angle. He'd have to wide beat for the angle. So, bad placement on clones here. Even though we're keeping everybody alive. Uh, very interesting Ash ult. Not good. Uh, there's no reason for her to be ulting here. We just got to pick on Grok. Like, maybe they can stay alive here. We decided to turn and help kill their support because we hear who Makoa is fighting. So I think their support is very important to kill even though somebody on our team maybe dies. So now we clean up tanks. Just farming damage here. Gonna teleport behind the con. What I planned on doing there was putting the clone behind him, teleporting to the clone and shooting him behind the shield. Um, that's really interesting. Uh, 
ying mechanics right there or good ying mechanics to know is like place placing the cone and then teleporting two to get behind people especially khan because sometimes you need to split him there's a call we use on our team against people like khan that split khan split khan it means he has his shield up we can't break the shield and we want to split his attention to both sides because the shield only goes one way so you want to get somebody in front of him and behind him to make sure you can get as much damage off on him as you can and making sure you can finish him because that shield can be so annoying early game like it is now so that's a fun fact if you're on a team or ranked game using voice comms which apparently a lot of people are using i saw viral tweet also viral's doing youtube now so be sure you go check him out um that's interesting uh, i didn't know viral started but i saw him tweet and i'm like heck yeah i love people starting youtube it's amazing all right so we have ult here we missed the heal on cassie i believe so we go ahead and all teams topped off we know they're all over here so we get over here get the clone to erase and uh remember when you're ying ulting you can teleport two teammates only when you're ulting though so make sure you use that mechanic well um what i do with that a lot of the times is if there's a teammate really far away is i ult teleport to them give them a clone and then teleport to another teammate fight with them and then teleport to the safest teammate um that's usually my pattern i do a lot i've done it in ppl games i've done it in casual games it's all it's a really good way to do it i really messed up there there's no way he should have died there what i wanted to do is get the clone down for the extra healing and then right click because if you clone first you technically get more healing output but it's not as much burst healing up front and he needed that burst healing that 800 up front and then the supplementary healing afterwards so i kind of messed up there i didn't uh didn't save him when i could have that's all nice you finish off the asher really good kill uh ash should have ulted a little bit sooner but again we had makoa to pull her out of the ultimate so i really wouldn't have mattered uh we have bulldozer three if you're wondering uh so we're kind of killing that dog instantly now uh io needs to be very careful where she puts her dog because it's very important to her team because i believe she's running life link i want to say life like every time the old ying ta talent but i don't there you go me placing a clone in the open again i'm gonna go ahead and ult here to top off the makoa and maybe get some momentum going for the team nice so we kill ash there Grok Ghost Walks, maybe we finish him. Nice, we get the double. Kind of on the con shield. Just trying to get it low so we can burst him down right after it's dead. Nice, we get the shot kill as well. And we're going for a play here. We're seeing it. We're feeling it. Get the heal real quick. And he ults. It's like, what? He ulted me? I don't think you can do that. All right, we fall back here. Try to top off him. McCall, buddy ults. We're kind of fragged right now. We're getting a lot of kills. We're kind of just destroying them in their back line. We're on 11 streak, 11 kill streak here could use a tp to get out of there and uh yeah that's uh that's ying fragging for you that's fun that's always fun to do get clone set up on their side and get the makoa helped you know bad clone placement again but whatever we're snowballing right now that's kind of this game we're kind of just fragging let's see we have a lot of credit so we're deciding if we want to go morale boost or chronos and the reason i go morale boost here as i could tell you is i have 60 percent on alt charge if we have full alt charge here, we go Chronos 2. If we have less than full, we go Morale Boost to get that ultimate up as soon as possible. Because getting that ultimate ultimate up as soon as possible is amazing. Ying ultimate is amazing. Just like Fury ults and fights, it's a global. Furious, not a global, but it is a uh, very large radius. So basically global for Furia. But Ying's a global. It'll hit everybody across the map no matter what. So getting that ultimate alliance perfect. This is so weird having the video cropped. I'm getting, I'm sorry for that. It's weirding me out, but hopefully you still enjoy the content. Like uh, the gameplay, you learn something from this. So I was trying to make my visual videos educational, so ignore the cropped. I'm gonna stop talking about it now. Now I top off Makoa, our team just snowballs really well here. We have a really good team for fights like that against their team because all they have is Grok for AOE damage. We have, I think about ulting here, but it really wasn't soon enough. Um, I should ult it way sooner. I made yet again another mistake there. Kind of making a lot of mistakes this game. I'm kind of not paying attention enough. I don't know. But I'm just making a lot of mistakes this game. To be honest. Um, we're on a 34 streak. And we have 11 kills. So we know. So now, the way streaks work in Ultimate Charge is it based, it's based off of the kills. The amount of kills in a row you have. I have 34 streaks from elims. Elims mean you are a part of the kill, and when you heal somebody, it gives you an elim. Like there, it gave me an elim, even though I didn't touch him, just because I healed a race. 
so the way the ult charge jesus he got bursted again nothing i could do about that one but the way it works is it's based off kills not the elims so just remember that if you're on a 34 streak but you know you haven't killed anything don't worry about killing yourself or giving ult charge the enemy vex 30 ying play the game by the way it was probably when we teleported into the back line let's see oh no it was uh here on main we're kind of just sitting here setting up clones and we're in third person apparently look for the grok instead of the ash there target prioritization the tank isn't as important the dps is always more important so clean up a bunch of kills that's all that play was we just cleaned up kills good target priority though and uh that's it videos done that's fear that's ying that's 130k healing 11 kills 30k damage pretty pretty good if i say so myself but i hope you enjoyed this video i don't know if the fury one's cropped but if it is i am so sorry for that uh re next videos won't be like that i promise um but i hope you enjoyed this video i also hope you enjoy your day night evening morning dawn dusk whatever it is where you live and i will see you in the next one later and a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. Captain Splash Club, Joshua Branchflower, Yosef Slasso, Jazzy Caddis Game, MV Panda, and all other Patreon supporters. Thank you so much.